So I wanted to make a quick video <clears throat> about the craziness of life, you know. While I was up helping my mother, well, my wife moved out of the house, and so I went to a locksmith, and these are things that I never really thought about. You know, I, I unscrewed it from this side, and uh, how the heck do you get that thing out? So I'm getting ready to watch some YouTubes on, on how to get that out. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, let me, let me get to the video here in just a second. Just wanted to get that on the video. So it, uh, it becomes a lot easier making these videos now that I can just kind of leave, uh, stuff laying around the house after my wife, uh, well, took a bunch of stuff and, uh, moved out and, uh, still assessing the damage, uh, going through a divorce here. Um, so, you know, but I did want to talk about home security just a bit because, you know, these videos are about going through life and the things that we experience. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I thought about. I moved into this house about uh, three or four years ago and, uh, you know, something I never did. And I probably should have done it. Um, I never changed the locks to the house. And, uh, you know, you don't know what a previous homeowner has done. You know, they, they could have relatives that have keys to your house. Uh, you know, your neighbors could have keys to your house. I mean, you know, um, obviously uh, we haven't been, well, I, I got robbed <laughs> by my wife. I didn't see that one coming after 21 years of marriage. But, uh, but anyway, I mean, you know, they, anybody could have come into the house with a key and uh, so I just wanted to talk about locks and uh, securing the house a bit and, uh, um, you know, the things I'm going through right now. So I, uh, I went to uh, Ace Hardware and uh, I was going to buy new locks and then put them on. I have two deadbolts uh, to the house, one in the garage and one to the front door. And, uh, and the guy, you know, he said, um, he said, yeah, uh, you know, he said he could not, well, I showed him the locks that I, well, the Ace Hardware guy recommended a cheap lock. And the uh, locksmith that I talked to, uh, he said my locks are a heck of a lot better than, than the uh, locks that I bought at Ace Hardware. So, you know, you got to look at who you're getting advice from. Now, the guy at Ace Hardware, he did refer me to the locksmith, um, but he did say he thought it would be more expensive to rekey the locks than it would be to just buy new locks. And then when I got to the locksmith, the locksmith, because uh, the new lock was like over 20 bucks. And uh, the locksmith said, no, I can rekey them for about 12 bucks a lock. And uh, I said, well, what do you need? And uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you. He said he would need the original key. Okay, so I got to bring the key with me. And uh, I just took one of the locks off and I just kind of wanted to show you. And it, it was pretty doggone easy, you know, I mean, because uh, you know, one side of the lock, you, whoops, don't want to drop the screw. Of course, I've got to show you that. Um, one side of the lock is just, you know, a twist turn uh, for quick, quick exit of the house. Now, in some states, um, if you key, if you buy a two keyed uh, solution to a lock, uh, they consider that a fire hazard, probably in most Democrat states. I don't know about Republican states. But I tell you, it is nice to just be able to turn the handle and unlock the door. Because um, my mom has the, uh, the two-keyed two solution. And I tell you what, it, sometimes you lose the doggone key. And then you can't open the lock from the inside. So if you had a fire, I mean, what are you going to do? Dive through the window, which I guess you could. So on this side of the key was, was just these little screws. And you just took those out. That was really easy to do. And then uh, what the locksmith is going to need, um, he told me, is this portion of the lock uh, with the key. He's got to have this with the key to, to rekey the lock. Okay, now I wasn't sure when I, when I took this off, this was still attached to the door. Now, when you look at the lock, you got the deadbolt coming through from the side. But because I'm just rekeying the locks, I don't have to take the deadbolt out, right? Uh, for 12 bucks. And I'll have a whole new key for this lock. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the way it is. And then there was, uh, once you got the front plate off, you had this screw right here that you had to unscrew. Now, I would have shown you the whole doggone process, but I figured I'd just describe it to you because it's not that doggone complicated. Um, 
So, and then, uh, you know, a couple of other things, uh, you know, now that my wife is out of the house, uh, there's some things I've been wanting to do to secure the house uh, that she wouldn't let me do because she thought it'd be unsightly. And uh, boy, if a neighbor came over and uh, looked at the house. So, so in a previous video, I talked about uh, somebody being able to just kick the front door in and boom, they're in your house. And, uh, and, and, you know, could you get to your gun in time? And that was another problem with my wife is I couldn't leave the guns uh, laying around the house where I could get to them in a timely manner. Um, so I bought uh, this a long time back and I've been meaning to do it. This is the uh, Platinum Protection Door Armor Ultimate Door Security, the Invasion Stopper. And uh, from the YouTube videos that I've seen, once I install this whole kit, because it goes all the way up and down the door frame, um, you know, it would take a battering ram to get through that door. They literally would have to knock the door frame off to get in the front door. So if you had a burglar trying to kick in the front door, they're going to have a hard time getting in there. And I would assume, you know, no matter how dead asleep you are, you're going to hear them trying to get in the house. Yeah, could they break a window and just come in the house that way? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, that's that's something else I'm looking at. You know, I got some sliding glass doors and, uh, uh, you know, so I'm thinking about uh, replacing these sliding glass doors with something more secure. I don't, I'm not sure what the solution will be. You know, one thing I did look into uh, while I was uh, talking to the locksmith, because I was telling him, how do I make my house more secure? You can evidently buy a film that goes over top, just like tinting your windows in a car, but it goes over top of the... Uh, the windows to your sliding glass door and uh, and then if somebody they could take a sledgehammer to it and it's just like a car window it's just going to shatter that window it's not going to break it in um, and it's only like you know well I right now before inflation you know you're looking at two to five hundred dollars to but you know what these sliding glass doors I never liked them so I'll probably just replace them with something different I don't know I got to price everything out but that's something you could consider is putting a film on the uh, sliding glass doors. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, um, and I priced it out and it was expensive, you know, because I wanted, to, uh, well, mainly for a hurricane. I wasn't at, at, at that time, you know, a couple years ago before COVID and the whole world went crazy. Uh, I just wanted impact resistant windows because I live at the end of a street in a cul-de-sac. And uh, the last hurricane, when I first moved in, there's, there was stuff blowing down that street, you know, slamming into my house. And I thought for sure something was just going to bust right through the windows. So I wanted to put in some impact resistant windows and that would delay a burglar down just a little bit. Um, so these are things that I'm thinking about now that my wife is gone. And uh, um, but, you know, I don't even know. I may have to sell the house. Uh, I got a, a I'm continuing to assess the damage of her leaving, but uh, I did want to talk about, um, you know, because, you know, when you talk to people, that's the thing, you know, you got to get out in life and you got to talk to people. If I hadn't sat there with that uh, locksmith and talked about locks and, you know, how important it is to rekey your locks when you first move into a house, I never did it. I'm, I admit, you know, sometimes you're an idiot in some regards. And I have, I have stuff in the house that I don't want people to steal. You know, and uh, that would have been an easy thing for me to do. I mean, 20, think about it. 24 bucks, literally, even at today's inflated prices, to rekey this lock. I, I, you know, I guess I'm just an idiot in some regards. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to get that done. And, uh, and then, you know, another thing, uh, you know, if you do get married, you know, maybe uh, just a little marital advice. Uh, you know, because my wife always insisted on being joint, joint on all the accounts, and uh, I just never saw the need for it. You know, if I were you, um, you know, whether you do a prenuptial agreement or whatever, I'd just keep the finances separate. You know, have your own separate checking accounts. You know, maybe have one, one account that's joint that you both put money in to pay the bills. And, th and that's it, because I had her joint on all the accounts and I'm gonna, I won't even describe the headaches that that's caused with me trying to get her name off of all the accounts. Um, so anyway, I won't get into the other things. Uh, you know, a living trust, of course, uh, we had set that up and uh, 
Now I got to dissolve that, probably have to hire an attorney. One of the disadvantages of having a living trust, because if you just got a will, you just redo the will. But anyway, shape or fashion, you're going to have to involve a lawyer or an attorney in it. Um, so that's just kind of what I'm going through right now. And uh, I'll get this video up. And um, But uh, it's, uh, it's all a work in progress, man, I tell you. And uh, I do enjoy the fact that, you know, I can make a mess and, and I don't have my wife beating me on the head. You know, you left a dish out on the counter. Why would you do that? Why won't you put it in the dishwasher? Well, you know what? I'll get to it when I get to it. You know, so there are some uh, some good things about being single again. And uh, you guys have a good one. Let's do the mantra. Freedom. Oh, freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and no lockdowns. And uh, DeSantis, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw this out again. I threw it out on a previous video. We need to take all of the illegal aliens that uh, Biden is shipping to Florida, and we're going to send them to Delaware and park them around Joe Biden's house, not trying to be cruel. I'm just going to keep saying this on my videos. We'll give them tents, heaters, and food, and just put them outside his compound and just park them right around his house. And of course, Kamala Harris's house. And you know, I wanted to add, because I didn't say this in a previous video, we need to put them around Nancy Pelosi's compound in uh, San Francisco. Uh, so that's another place we can ship all the illegal aliens to, because we can't deport them, not by the Constitution. Uh, just a couple political things real quick. Uh, the Kyle Rittenhouse case, I think he's going to be found not guilty. But we'll see. I think it'd be a travesty if it isn't. I watched the whole trial, and it was, uh, it was unbelievable what that kid did. I mean, I couldn't have shown that type of restraint. I just would have been shooting people. You know, but he... Uh, he he waited until they were almost bashing his head in before he uh, he shot him, you know, and they and that their, their criminal record was like this long, you know, so that uh, that's one thing politically. And uh, anyway, I guess that's uh, that's all I want to say. You guys, peace out, stay free, and let's get the boo dog. Say hi, boo. Say hi, boo. There you go.